Hello again. I have another empties video and this one is home smell me goods. I love empties videos. I, I hope you guys too. I can understand why you wouldn't be into it, but God, don't you want, aren't you nosy? I'm nosy. I want to know what's going on in your house. I want to know what you're using. So this is what I'm using. Okay. So all of these is, uh, mostly, what do you call them? wax tarts and things like that but there are some candles in here and, and, and another thing or two that I'll, i think you'll find funny but um yeah there you go okay so let's do candles first because they're heavy and they're on my legs okay one of them that i went through is by yankee candle and it's called sweet seduction and in my opinion was the supposed replacement of their candy corn because basically that's kind of what it smelled like mixed with a little bit of like cream float type smell. It was okay. I used it all, whatever. It was very fragranted, but I don't know that I would buy again because I am trying to think. What's the name of it? can't think. What's that other brand? Goose Creek. Goose Creek, um, they sell theirs at a reasonable price and they're very fragranted and I would probably buy their candy corn. Actually, I did buy their candy corn, but I would buy, I would stick to them before. I, uh, Yankee has lost their touch with me. That's all I'm going to say. Don't wanna, I'm not going to be negative in this video, but the other Yankee candle that I finally got through is Red Apple Reef. It smells apples and cinnamon basically is what I smell. It's nice. Heavily fragranted. Very nice. Um, I, I, when I say I wouldn't buy it again is because I, I am, there's only certain types of candles I buy. Uh, everything else is wax tarts. Would I buy it in a wax tart? Yes, I would. But in the big candle, no, actually this is a medium sized candle, but no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it again, but whatever. Okay. Another candle that I had gotten from TJ Maxx is a whim just to try it because i'd never tried this brand before dw home um it was called warm tobacco pipe but in my opinion it still smelled like a smoky marshmallow -y. heavy on the smoke but in a good way um little tiny one i like the dark holder or whatever you want to call it i liked it and it was only 2.99 from tj maxx i liked it i i thought it was well fragranted um i would buy it again Honestly, and I really like that warm tobacco pipe scent. I don't know. It's nice. I would buy it again So let's hit to the wax tarts that I went through I like wax tarts a lot. Okay, I went through warm fireside flurries by better homes and gardens Basically, it's like a smoky pine like scent, but mostly heavy on the smoky um, harvest moon, which is pumpkin kisses and autumn wishes by Sensational. It's basically a pumpkin-y, caramel, butterscotchy type scent. Whew. Butterscotch Maple Cream by Better Homes and Gardens. It smells exactly, I'm not even going to smell it because I know it because I have more of them. It smells exactly like what it's called. Literally, Butterscotch Maple Cream. I went through Better Homes and Gardens Fresh Cut Fraser. It's phenomenal. Christmas, like a blue spruce. Christmas tree scent. Fabulosity. I went through a Around the Campfire, which is supposed to be like, it's supposed to be, because it shows like the, the roasted marshmallows, it's supposed to be like a toasted marshmallow scent. But no, vanilla embers, vanilla something, vanilla embers smells more like it. So this was okay. Eh. Eh. So I also went through two of Sensational Brands, Perfectly Pine. It's your typical balsam fir type scent for Christmas. It's awesome. If it is something you're interested in for next year's Christmas, um, it comes out in the fall. Stock up then because it usually sells out completely before December even hits. So if when you start seeing it go on sale in September and um, in early October, get it. Listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, 
Next, I went through um, another one by Better Homes and Gardens called Cookies for Santa. Basically smells like, um, I, I actually smell a little pumpkin, but pumpkin, vanilla, like cookies. Really good, I would buy again. I went through Better Homes and Gardens Warm Rustic Woods. Yes, please. It's in the uh, crispy delicious, not delicious, crispy awesomeness, slightly men's cologne. Nice, awesome, outdoors smell. And it reminds me of another one that I went through, which is my top dog favorite that they did not bring back this past year, which I wasn't happy with, but thank God I bought a bunch of them the previous year because I had a bad feeling. It is Rustic Cabin Kitchen by Sensationals. It has that, oh my God. It's like a smoky wood scent, but good with a hint of men's cologne. This is this is okay, but this is the granddaddy, okay? This is princess, this is the queen, okay? Rustic Cabin Kitchen. These two scents, love them, and yes, went through those, okay. We also went through uh, Better Homes and Gardens, Meyer Lemon Basil, which basically, it's just a lemon scented, you know? Typical spring, summer scent, it smells good, enough said. Uh, Coconut Vacay by Sensationals. Coconut, coconut milk, summer only. I'm weird with scents. Uh, one of my favorites that I'm surprised I don't have more empties of. There's got to be a reason why, but it is Better Homes and Gardens Orange Buttercream Cupcake. It is orange mixed with Fruity Pebbles. It's that good. I only use it in the spring and summer, but it's that good. Love it. Another one that I discovered this summer for the first time, and I bought several of, I would buy more again. It is by Better Homes and Gardens, uh, Jamaican Rum Gelato, Gelato? I never know how to say that. Can you see that? Um, this one smells, it's like a vanilla-y, coconut-y type, wonderful summer scent. I can't explain it. It doesn't smell like rum. You, I smell more coconut and tropicalness, but with vanilla in a good way. And I would, I would definitely buy again. Another unsuspected, no, unsspected. Disco, a new, newly discovered uh, fall scent, in my opinion, is by Better Homes and Gardens. It is called Pumpkin Berry Tart, and I effing love it. Loved it, okay? This is for all you blueberry lovers, okay? And I am a blueberry lover. Blueberry scented anything, I will buy, okay? It is a mix between blueberry, comma, regular berries, like strawberries, grapes, raspberries, comma, vanilla, cream with one little toppy dash of pumpkin. Awesome scent if you're in the blueberry friend list. Next is Better Homes and Gardens Cranberry Popcorn Garland. I love it. I never really, you know what, I, in previous, I did like, I've been, my new thing is I want to like, I show you guys, you know, the scents that I've used of the week of these. And I know in one of them, I said to you that, hey, I'm, you know, this is what I'm burning today and I don't smell popcorn in it. I have to take that back because several hours after burning it, and mind you, when I made the clip of it, that wasn't the first time I've ever burned it. Obviously, I'd, I had already gone through one. Um, I, I, it was just on my mind, and I'm like, oh my god, I, I kind of do smell popcorn. So I needed, I need to tell you, I need to take back what I said. There is a hint of popcorn in it. Um, you definitely smell the cranberries, but to me, it's more heavy of vanilla cookie pumpkin plus a touch of popcorn and then cranberry. It smells good, it's nice. It's, a, it's in my opinion, it's a Christmassy scent. This is something I would burn in November and December. 
Um, another fall type scent is by Sensationals called Pumpkin Apple Muffins. No need to say any different. It's exactly what it smells like. Pumpkin Apple Muffins. Same with this next one. Nothing more to say. Smells exactly like the description of the name. Better Homes and Gardens Pumpkin Marshmallow Topping. You'd think that all these pumpkin scents would all like smell alike, but they really don't. They really are all different and worth a try. And for, oh my God, can we just say this? They're two bucks. Okay, every single one of these, two bucks. Two bucks, you get six cubes, right? Come on. You get six cubes, use two, okay? Two cubes is the equivalent of one Yankee Candle Wax Tart. And Yankee Candle Wax Tarts, one tart, it's anywhere from $1.99 to $2.99. Two bucks, and you technically get like three Yankee Candle Tarts, right? Three, three usages. These, in my opinion, okay, and listen, it's not an opinion, it's a fact, because I know what I'm talking about. These are stronger than Yankee Candles. And I'm sorry, Yankee, you are failing miserably in this category. Better Homes and Gardens and, and the brand Sensationals. And I, and I actually wonder, I wonder if they're owned by the same company secretly. That's something I should look into. But anyway, they are so fragranted, dude. Like, I am dead serious. They are worth every penny. If you are a home scent woman, man, and you like to use wax stuff, go with these. You will not be disappointed. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Okay. The last one in that category is something special that Better Homes and Gardens does is they create like a two-sided package. So you'll get five cubes, but the cubes are much smaller than the regular size. I'll show you the different size difference in a second here. Um, so you get, technically you get 10 cubes, but they're tinier than the average six pack. Okay. And one side is one cent and the other is a different one. So this one is called autumn afternoon stroll. It is one of my favorites that they make for autumn. One side is supposed to be golden oak leaves. The other is apples and acorns. I personally, I don't care together. It just smells actually. It kind of smells like Autumn Leaves by Yankee Candle, but it also smells like, hold on. It smells close to their crisp fall leaf scent, but it's it's different enough that it's worth you buying it, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, I don't know, I love it. I love their fall scents. Yeah, I went through this. I have, I have a couple of these on backup because they're so good. But they make another one, too, that obviously I didn't go through yet. So it'll probably be my next empties. But good stuff. So, yeah, see, see the size of the little tart holes? They're not, not very big as in comparison to that. So, yeah, you might get a little more in this one. But they're a little bit smaller size than this box. Okay. Those are those. And then my last one is from the brand, the brand, Goose Creek, Crunchy Leaves. Oops, what am I doing? Crunchy Leaves is the scent. It's very similar to, you know, your typical fall leaves type scent. However, I didn't find it that strong. And I, I don't want I don't want to say anything negative about Goose Creek because their candles are friggin' fabulous. They really are. They're they're good. Uh, very fragranted. So I don't want to like disappoint and scare you off the brand if you've never bought anything. I just don't think I don't think they've mastered wax tarts in my opinion just yet. Their blueberry one though is very fragranted. So they're they're on their way there. But eh, would I buy that again? Probably not. Um one last thing that I had to add in here just for shits and giggles and because I'm not gonna lie I freaking love it and I think anybody who lives with other people should make everyone in their bathroom use this product <laughs> it is called poo -pourri. before you go poo spray and I've only ever used the Christmas scented ones so I'm I, mine this one's 
the Secret Santa's Cinnamon Vanilla and Citrus, but I can't lie to you. I don't care what it smells like. It's just that I, I buy the Christmas ones because I like the Christmas packaging. And I like to see it when I walk in the bathroom because I'm weird. But it really masks the poo scent. Great. You just go to your toilet. You give one, two, three little pumps. And then no one will know what you just did in there. It hides the smell for reals. I love it. It deserved to be in this MT's video. And yes, I would most definitely repurchase again. Uh, and I have already. So there you go. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. No more empties. So I get to start saving them all over again. We're going to start the process. And I'll see you in a couple months with more empties. Well, I'll see you soon with another video. But empties video, not for another couple months. Okay? So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I do appreciate it. I would also very much highly appreciate you to subscribe and to come back and see me as often as possible because I'm a ball of friggin' fun. At least I think I am. So I shall see you all soon and you all just have a fabulous day. Okay? Talk to you soon.